Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna talk about tuples and to a lesser extent lists and basically I'm gonna compare both of these. They are in some instances extremely similar, in others not at all. And here's my tuple, this is sample tuple and here's a list which is also a sample list. And you see initially the basic difference between these when you define a tuple you use round brackets whereas when you uh, define a list you use square brackets now um, let's try a couple of things for instance let me try changing in my list element number two to seven eight nine element number two would be zero one two so this one i would like to change to seven eight nine let's put the code in so that's the code let's save it and run it And now, if I print my list, you see instead of uh, 456, I will uh, instead of 456, I have 789. Let's try that thing with my tuple. So there's the code. Save that and run it. And we get an error. And that is the fundamental difference between lists and tuples. Lists can be modified. Tuples cannot. That is the foundation of fundamental difference. And that's why... Uh, there are certain methods which basically involve editing the list. They don't work with tuples. We can try another one here. So here I'm appending to my list the value 1166. If I save that and let's print uh, my list. Save F5. And there you go. I just did that. Now let's try that with my tuple. So just insert the code, save at five, and I get a, again, I get an error. So you can see that that's the fundamental difference between tuples and lists. Lists can be modified, appended to, re stuff removed from them, whereas tuples are non-changeable. They're called immutable, whereas lists are mutable objects. Right. Other than that, a lot of stuff can be done with lists and tuples. For instance, we know that we know that indexing um, a list takes place like this, and that this way I'm, ac I'm accessing the second element in the list because remember in lists indexing starts at zero. Same thing with tuples. And let's try it out. Save F five. And you can see I'm both getting the I'm getting the same value. What also works in both, you can also use negative indices, which basically takes it backwards. And, and remember, this is element zero. This is element minus one. So basically, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and that would be minus one minus two and so on so let's try it out actually the list should give this value out because we append this after the definition whereas the tuple should give the ghi let's try it out save and f5 and you see the the tuple gives ghi whereas uh, the list gives 1166 so minus when you go backwards through either a list or a tuple you start with negative one because there's no negative zero, obviously. Whereas if you start forwards, you use zero, one, two, three. Uh, personally, I mean, sure, it's a nice feature, but personally, I've never used that in professional code. Uh, I don't know, it confuses me. I prefer going forward, zero and so on. And I prefer, you know, if I need that, if I need that element, then I prefer using the length, the length element, and then subtracting from it. So uh, if I need this element, then I prefer to go length minus one. Uh, this minus one is, I, I, I get confused with it and it's, um, I don't know, uh, but that's just me, you know. So uh, another thing what, what, what happens in both of these is you can use slices. So a slice is a section or a subsection of, of, the, of, the, of the series. With tuples, you can write it like this and works identically for lists. If I save that and run that, uh, you would get there the same, the same slices. 
Let me just remove uh, that stuff. We don't need it anymore. Or leave it just to, yeah, we need it to just to compare the list. Okay, so you can use slices. Both have both uh, have the method len or the function len where you can get the length of each of these. And here the same thing, len. And let's remove that. And yep, it should work. Uh, let's run it. So you see both have uh, the function length and obviously the list is longer because we appended this item to the list. Um, you can also loop by the same way uh, through a tuple or through a list. And that's one way of looping through these series. You see this identical, there's no, no difference at all. And if I save it and run it, we would get the same thing. I just put the print in here to have this gap. And you see here, that's the result of the tuple and that's the result of the list. And obviously here again, the list goes one more iteration for that added value. Uh, you could also write your for loops in a different way. With this here, if you use the for loop in this case, uh, the i is basically is a, is, a, is a representation of each element in the tuple or list. Uh, you can also create your loop like this. So here I'm i is now a representation of the length of the tuple. So basically here i is, is not an element in that series, but a, an integer which rotates through it. And if I save that and run it, you can see here the, the I was always uh, the, the element itself, whereas here the I or J is in this case just an integer. And if I run that, you would see then it is uh, a number, whereas here it was an element. Right, and you see here I, I, I in the previous code, let me just insert the previous code. Uh, in the previous code, we had, uh, we're recalling the element itself, and here we're calling the tuple with index. So that's that's the difference, but both give out the same the same thing. Right, so these are basic operations for, um, for, uh, for lists and tuples, and you see they're very, very similar, except that tuples cannot be modified. Tuples are immutable, whereas, whereas lists aren't. Now, when to use when? Well, uh, because tuples are immutable, that makes them faster. Obviously, with our small series here, there's, you're not going to notice any difference. But if you have huge amounts of data or hu a huge list uh, or, or tuple, you will see that the, the huge tuple will, will uh, iterate much faster than the huge list. So that's one advantage because, because this immutability of, um, of, of, of tuples makes them uh, uh, faster for Python. Uh, the other thing what, 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 where tuples are often used are if you know that this data should not be changed, then a tuple ensures, or using a tuple ensures that the data would not be changed. Um, normally, in a lot of cases, um, you're going to see it when you do build professional programs. Uh, you're going to have something like this. Uh, let's say a pro list. So you have a list. Let's say, and this list represents. Oops, uh, this 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 list represents uh, a bunch of coordinates. So the first. The first uh, uh, coordinate would be uh, x, y coordinate. Uh, so the first one would be, let's say, 0, 0. So that's, that's, that's the first tuple. Then the second coordinate would be 12, uh, seven, 2, for instance. So you see here, that's where you use tuples to have to store certain data together. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's an unwritten rule which says, for instance, you use lists for homogeneous elements, whereas you use tuples for heterogeneous elements. What that means is that, let me let me just do the third element here. Uh, for instance, the next coordinate would be, uh, 
So you see here, the list is homogeneous. It is basically the same thing, coordinates, whereas each tuple is heterogeneous. You have the X value, the Y value, and so on. It's the same thing with data. For instance, you would have a list of uh, customers, and then each tuple would be the details, first name, surname, and so on. And you have seen it when we called SQLite uh, the last time, you saw that SQLite outputs a list of tuples. Each element in the list is a row, and that, that makes the list homogeneous, whereas each tuple is then the diverse fields, and that makes the tuple heterogeneous. This is an unwritten rule. Obviously, if you have homogeneous tuples, they will still work. It's just an organizational thing, which uh, you'd see a lot of code uh, following this. Oh, here, I see, I made a mistake. You, uh, you see a lot of code, follow, uh, code following this, this sort of unwritten rule. But basically, <clears throat> just remember that two things to remember, tuples are immutable, and in the quest for speed, and if you know your data isn't gonna be changed, then use tuples. I mean, for instance, if I know that this data, that, these, that this series is never gonna be appended, or never gonna get new items, those items are never gonna be changed, then a tuple is a candidate, otherwise a list would be a, the, the candidate. So that sort of gives you the basics between the two or the basics uh, with these two tuples and lists and a lot of methods which do not involve uh, editing they work for both of them